Hello friends, first of all thanks for being here in my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see uh, 8 lessons starting from lesson number 1 till lesson number 8 on the topic called permutation. So friends, permutation is one of the most important topic if you are going for any competitive exam. Minimum 1 mark you can definitely see in the topic called permutation. So friends, this is an introduction part video, right? Permutation does not have a huge introduction, but my advice to know the three things one is what is the definition of permutation if you need to learn the permutation topic what are all the formulas that can be used in this topic and the third thing is they used to say what is three factorial four factorial five factorial like that first of all let me understand one simple formula that npr is equals to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial learn this formula alone 99 percentage of the question may use this formula that is npr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial so the explanation may in this lesson number five or six but my advice in introduction part just know the formula there is a formula npr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and another advice is starting from two factorial till eight factorial by at all the answers if it is a 3 factorial, we should write this as 3 into 2 into 1, right? So, it is 6. 4 factorial. So, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, the answer is 24. So, 5 factorial, 120, 6 factorial, 720, right? Every time we are solving a question, you should not write this. It is a time based, right? So, better thing is that 2 factorial, the answer is 2. 4 factorial, the answer is 24. So, 8 factorial, 4, 0, 3, 2, 0. So, kindly buy out all the answers so that you can easily crack the answer in your exams. So, first thing you need to buy out the formula second thing buy out the answers that is from starting from 2 factorial till 8 factorial and third important thing you should know what is called as permutation the definition of the permutation is most important why because friends if you take any quantitative book any quantitative aptitude book whether it is a local author or it is a foreign author just see you can see a topic called permutation and combination you can't able to see a separate topic of permutation right so there is a difference between permutation and combination so kindly know what is called as permutation and what is called as combination what is the difference between these topics so only you can understand whether this question can be solved by using permutation or whether this question can be solved by using a combination so friends now we are going to see what is called as a definition on the topic of permutation right but before thing is that you should buy out this basic formula and second thing you you should buy that that is from 2 factorial till 8 factorial so friends if you take this permutation topic there are two categories the category number one that is problems on words and category number two that is problems on numbers if you watch eight videos you will be sure and you will be having confident that you can clear the permutation topic question so before going that let me see what is the definition of permutation and what is the definition of combination right so friends assume that there are three balls in many videos we have already taught this definition but my advice to learn this definition properly right okay friends there are three balls so ball number one ball number two and ball number three so friends here there are three balls so my question is to pick two balls at a random from this total three balls this is ball number one ball number two and ball number three so my question is you should pick two balls at a random from the total of three balls so friends listen carefully i can pick ball number one and ball number two one possible right we need to pick two balls at a random so ball number one or ball number two or otherwise two and three or otherwise one and three so only there are three possible chances so friends one and two two and three or three and one we have picked two balls at a random from the total of three balls this is called as combination if we go for only a required possible it is called as a combination friends if we go for all the possible then it is called as a permutation so friends understand the difference between permutation and combination permutation if we go for all the possible is called as a permutation if we go for only a required possible it is called as a combination so friends this is called as combination then what is called as a permutation friends listen carefully we need to pick two balls at a random right so friends listen here this is my left hand and this is my right hand right if in my left hand i am just picking ball number one in my right hand i am pick ball number two so one possible or otherwise in my left hand i am picking ball number two in my right hand i am going for ball number one so two and one got the point friends or otherwise two and three 
or 3 and 2 or 1 and 3 or 3 and 1. So totally there are 6 chances to pick this ball. So friends can you see the difference between combination and see the difference between permutation. Only required possible it is called as a combination. If we go for all the possible cases then it is called as a permutation. So friends uh, this permutation is not at all having a huge introduction right only just 2 or 3 minutes. But don't forget to watch from the starting lesson number 1 till lesson number 8. Enjoy all the videos after watching it. If you really like all my videos, kindly share all the videos to your friends. Download it. Download all the 8 lessons and give to your friends so that your friends can also learn this topic. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Go and watch all the 8 lessons. Enjoy my YouTube channel. Bye.